What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be telling you how to tactical sprint on console on PS4, PS5 and Xbox for Fortnite controller. But real quick, I would like to let you guys know that I do gift my subscribers free skins and whatever they do want from the Fortnite item shop, including the battle pass. So if you would like the chance to get a free gift from me in Fortnite, just drop a like on the video, subscribe with all notifications and comment your Epic Games username down below. And if you would like to support the channel, be sure to use my creator code, it's Ben YouTube in the Fortnite item shop, hashtag ad, hashtag Epic Partner. But now I'm going to be telling you guys how you can basically go ahead and tactical sprint on console on PS4, PS5, Xbox on Fortnite controller. So obviously guys, if you actually do try and tactical sprint on console, it may mess up your editing. I'm going to be telling you how to do it so it doesn't mess up your editing or anything like that. So I'm going to be showing you exactly what you will need to do. So guys, to get started, what I'm going to do is go ahead and go into a creative game so I can just show you guys the settings that they actually do work and then you guys will be able to copy the settings and how you can tactical sprint. This is the easiest and fastest way possible and this is the best setting so that you can actually do it on console on your controller guys because i know that's why the reason you did click on this video so guys once you are actually in creative you could just try it in like a grid island i'd recommend just trying it in like a grid island so yeah so i'm going to be telling you exactly how you are going to tactical sprint so let's just land and then there we go so basically as you can see i'm sprinting right now but i'm not actually tactical sprinting if i want a tactical sprint though I can, as you can see, guys. So I'm literally tactical sprinting, as you guys can see. So this is ta this is not tactical sprinting, and then you guys see this is tactical sprinting. So I'm going to be showing you exactly, guys, how you can do this tactical sprinting. So you, what you guys will want to do in order to do this tactical sprinting, it's really, really simple of how you can do this on controller. I'm going to be telling you guys how you can do it right now, so you, you don't have to like the normal sprinting and that and you guys can see the recharge in the bottom left and everything that's how this tactical sprinting works so yeah basically all you guys want to do is just go ahead and press the pause button and once you do go ahead and press the pause button you're going to see all these different options like settings reporting slash feedback code of conduct support legal respawn team select my island back to hub and start game you guys just want to go to settings and once you guys do go into the settings, what you guys will want to basically go ahead and do. This is really, really simple, guys. And I'm going to show you guys how you can get the tactical sprint on console in Season 2. So what you guys will want to basically do is go all the way over to where it does actually say, like literally right over here. So you want to go to controller options. So once you guys have gone over to controller options, what you guys will want to do is make sure you've got controller auto run turned on. You have to make sure that you've got controller auto run turned on, guys. You have to make sure that you have got controller auto run turned off. So I'm going to be showing you exactly, guys, how you can get this tactical sprint in. Literally really easy and really, really fast. So as well, I'd recommend you turn vibration off for this because I think it vibrates every time you do the tactical sprinting and you guys don't want that. Also, make sure enable adaptive triggers is turned off as well because that will just be annoying and you don't want them on while doing this because sometimes you have to switch out some stuff while tactical sprinting and then the adaptive triggers will just make it so difficult for you. And then, yeah, so make sure vibration's off. Make sure that you have got controller auto run turned off basically but now i'm going to be telling you guys exactly how you can basically go ahead guys and get this tactical sprint in the easiest and the fastest way possible so what you guys will want to do is go over to where it does actually say wireless controller so you're going to see like old school quick builder combat pro builder pro if you guys are on builder pro or combat pro or even old school any of these options are going to be telling you how to do it so 
you can reset it if you want but i wouldn't recommend resetting as you'll lose your you know like your settings so what you do want to do on custom this is exactly what you want to do you see combat controls build controls edit controls ability controls and dead zone you don't need to touch the dead zone or anything like that what you guys will want to basically do guys in order to get the tactical sprint this is exactly what you do so i'm going to be showing you guys right now basically the final step in order to get the tactical sprint on ps4 ps5 and xbox on controller which is for controller so once you're on custom um basically controls i would recommend going off of builder pro but then turning it custom guys it has to be custom so what you guys do want to do i know this is going to affect your guys's editing like a lot but the way you can tactical sprint on fortnite so switch mode you obviously want it on like circle or b whatever you could jump x as normal crouch you can keep as that and obviously guys what you want to do is have the ability controls you want the left analog stick to be sprint and auto sprint you also want on your edit controls you want your edit controls like whatever you do want it as you can have your edit controls whatever you are comfortable with uh, apart from the left stick and then you want your build controls left stick unbound and whatever you do want and then your combat controls you need sprint and auto sprint on and that is what you do need to do so if you guys look all the way through here your left stick has to have sprint and auto sprint in order for this tactical sprint to go ahead and basically work and also obviously like i said you have to make sure that you have actually got the controller auto run on and as well i would not have your gyro options turned on make sure your gyro controls are all turned off as well because it's really going to mess it up and it's going to be really difficult to tactical sprint while having gyro aiming on um so make sure gyro aiming is actually turned off so make sure all of these settings are copied make sure you've done all of the settings which i have actually told you and then make sure that you have actually got vibration off like i said which is actually over here so you need to have vibration off control it all to run on and then guys just follow the settings which i have actually showed you guys in this video and yeah guys just edit you obviously to have the edit button actually like um to make it comfortable just have it whatever you do want and then yeah guys you'll basically be able to go ahead and do the tactical sprinting literally um just like that guys on controller which is honestly amazing and you'll still be able to build and stuff and do the tactical sprint in and just like put your edit button as whatever you do want yeah guys that's basically the video share the video with everyone you know go down below drop a like and subscribe to the channel with the post notification bell turned on and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace